Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pillai. In this session, I shall explain how to read invalid JSON by using the built-in JSON serializer class in .NET. So, let's start. I have created a .NET console application and it is opened in my VS Code editor. In this project, it contains a customers.json file and a program.cs file. In the customers.json file, it contains two JSON objects with properties, ID, name, and profession. Now, let me open the program.cs file. Here you can see that the customer JSON file contents are read by using the file.readAllText method and it is assigned to a variable customer data. Then the customer data is deserialized to a list of customer by using the JSON serializer class of system.text.json namespace. This customer is a record with properties ID, name, and profession. I have looped through the customer collection to print all customer records in the terminal window. Now, let me run this application. So, open the terminal window. In the terminal window, run the command .NET run. And here you can see that both the customer records got printed in the terminal window with ID equal to 1, name equal to PRP, profession equal to training, ID equal to 2, name equal to Anju, profession is equal to banking. So, everything is working as expected. Okay, so now let me open the customers.json file and make this ID value which is currently a number and I want to make it as a string. So let me make it as a string. Still it is a number which is represented as a string and it is a valid JSON. Now let me go to the terminal window and clear the terminal and run the command .NET run. This time we got an exception. So it is a JSON exception. So here you can see that the JSON value cannot be converted to customer. Cannot get the value of a token type string as a number. This makes sense, right? Because in the program.cs, okay, let me scroll down. Here we have made this ID as an integer. And here we are trying to assign a value one, which is a string format. Now, even though the ID is a number in string format, I still want to consider it as a valid JSON and perform the deserialization. Is that possible? Absolutely. For that, let me open the program.cs file and add the code here. And I can say var options equal to new json serializer options and here we are going to set it like number handling is equal to json number handling dot and i will make this as allow reading from string okay and let me a semicolon here okay so this will make sure that okay this will go and allow reading numbers from the string okay and then i need to go and pass this options here in the deserialize method and now let me go and run this application in the terminal window okay so let me expand this terminal window let me clear it first and run the command dot net run and this time we are successfully deserialized the data and we are able to see the customer records in the terminal window now let's consider developer has added a trailing comma here Immediately, VS Code identified it as an invalid JSON. We can simply remove the trailing comma and make it as a valid JSON. But imagine that this data is coming from a third party service and we don't have any control over that. In this case, now let me go and run this application. So let me go and clear the terminal and run the command .NET run. This time we got an exception. So let me scroll up. And here you can see that the JSON object contains a trailing comma at the end. Now, even though this JSON is having a trailing comma, I want to consider it as a valid JSON. For that, I can go to the program.cs file. So let me minimize this. And here, I can add allow trailing commas and set the value to true. Okay. So now, let me expand this terminal window and clear this and run the command.net. And here we can see that. The customer JSON got successfully deserialized and the customer data got printed in the terminal window. One last thing I would like to demonstrate is about handling comments in JSON data. So in the customers.json file, let me add a comment here. So I can say this is first name. Okay. And immediately VS Code has thrown an error. It says that comments are not permitted in JSON. Now let me go and clear this terminal and run the command.net run. This time we got a JSON exception. So let me scroll up. And here you can see that slash is an invalid start of a property name. Now, I want to consider this JSON with comments as a valid data and I want to go and perform the JSON deserialization. 
For that, let me open the program.cs file. Okay, let me minimize this. And here I can add read command handling is equal to, I can say JSON command handling dot skip. So this will go and skip all the comments in the JSON file. Now let me expand the terminal window, clear the terminal window first, and run the command dot run. And it has successfully deserialized the JSON data and we are able to see the customer data printed in the terminal window. So this is all about reading invalid JSON using the JSON serializer class of system.text.json namespace. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.